Now let's say you're not using ZBrush for your source assets, so you want to bring in a file from something other than ZBrush, or you want to use the FBX exporter in ZBrush and bring that into Houdini instead of using GoZ. You're going to notice over here in the network view, we have our, of course, our GoZ mesh node here, but we're actually one layer deep inside of Houdini. If I either click on this section, it's kind of like a directory structure where if we double click on the GoZ mesh, now we're inside the GoZ mesh. If we want to go up one level, we can click that section here, or we can hit the U key and we can keep going up a level. And then of course we want to go back in, we can double click it. So we're kind of diving into this node. And then you can either click here, you can hit the U key, or you can hit this little back button and then it'll back us out to this very top level. So now that I'm in this top level, if you hit the tab key, that's gonna bring up your tab menu. Right now we're in the network tab menu. If you go to your viewport here and hit the tab menu, it'll have a few different options available to you, but we're gonna stick over here in the network view and hit tab. And of course, while we're in here, we can either, you know, go through this menu system here and choose what we want to utilize. Or if you know the name of the function you want to call, all you got to do is start typing. So what we're going to do is just start typing file and you can drop in a file node. Or you can also tap the tab menu again and start typing geometry. And you don't have to type the whole word in. You can just type GEO and it'll grab the geometry key or grab the geometry option, then just hit enter. And then you can go ahead and just drop that node in here. So using either of these, you can double click in here, you're gonna see there's a file node already set up to you, and then you just have to go and find that geometry file node in here. So you're gonna to browse to it. In this case, we're already in our Houdini hard surface test assets directory, and then there's that FBX we exported in our earlier, earlier video from ZBrush, or from any program you wanted to export an FBX from. If we cancel out of that, and we'll go back up to the object level, we'll go down to this geo node, exact same thing, we have a file node, we're gonna go select it, and all we gotta do is just double click this FBX, and that'll go ahead and bring it in. It looks the exact same because we just brought in the same geometry. One, we use GoZ, one, we use ZFBX. And if you middle mouse click over this file node, you're gonna see it brought in two primitive attributes. So on the FBX file, it brought in the name primitive attribute, which we'll get into in just a second, and also the shop material path attribute. If we go back up one level, and then we go to our GoZ mesh, or we can actually just middle mouse click over this one. Oh, we gotta dive in there. Middle mouse click over this one and you're gonna see the two primitive attributes and I'm just talking about this right here. Uh, we have a name and a polygroup. So when you bring it over with GoZ, you're gonna have polygroup information as well, which we may utilize later in, uh, in other videos. But for now, what I want you to take note of is this name string attribute that we have attached to both our GoZ mesh and our FBX mesh. So since the file node, we didn't plug anything in, I'm gonna go ahead and just click drag over that, make sure it's selected, and then hit delete. So now we have an FBX version of this file and a GoZ mesh version of this file. So for the rest of these videos, as long as you're dived into one of these nodes and you start making your node graph from either this file node here or this GoZ mesh node here, it should play out the exact same way. So I'd say pick one and roll with it for the rest of this tutorial series. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the GoZ mesh. I'm gonna go back up to our object level. I'm gonna delete this geo node and then I'm gonna dive back into that GoZ mesh node and we'll just start from here. One more option I wanna go over in this video. I go over it in later videos, but I wanna make sure I hit it here. So I'm gonna do a little addendum is if I'm sending a file over from ZBrush. So we've got a poly mesh star here. We're gonna say GoZ visible. We're gonna hop back into Houdini. And that'll go ahead and throw a GoZ mesh node in here. So if I want to add more meshes into this GoZ node, what I can do is I can go back, for instance, back into ZBrush, grab another poly mesh, GoZ visible. And you'll see that I have two meshes in here now. I have a star and I have a new GoZ mesh. If I make this one visible, I've got my star. I make this one visible. I have my polysphere. Now, while I'm dived into this GoZ node, I can also hit the tab key, type in file, and then I can use this one it's already automatically set the read file, so I can just browse where I might have an FBX, so I can go ahead and check that FBX, and because it's set to read files, it'll go ahead and automatically read this file. So if I make this one visible, you can see now I have this FBX exported or imported. All of this is true with any of the nodes we've already gone over, so if you're gonna use a file up here in your root directory, I'm sorry, or a geo here, you can go in here, it's already gonna have a file set up. You can just alt drag this one out. Now you have two files available to you, or again, you can just hit tab and type in file. And then any one of these you can use to load in separate geometry. You just got to select that node. And then we can make this one visible and then we can select another one. And then we have this one visible. You're also gonna see, we can still see these other objects here. If we go back out and we select 
all of these ones, we could still see those visible even when we're dived into, say, this file right here. If you don't want to see that, go up here to this menu option right here. You're going to see we have uh, ghost other objects selected by default. Go over here and you can do show all objects. That'll make them all visible. Or you can go down here to hide other objects. And then just what you have visible in this in this network is going to be available. Or if we go back to our GoZ mesh, only our GoZ meshes are going to be visible. So here's our star. Here's our polysphere here. And then here's our imported file.